Hmm. It's a great day to steal your man. Oh, pff. Well, you don't have one of those. You're fine. Okay, it's a good time to be single. Today's TikTok girl is a romantic, and she lives by a certain poem. You might have heard this poem before. It's a popular one. It goes, I can take your man if I want to, but lucky for you, I don't want to. I can take your man if I want to. I don't know what you do for fun, but it's boring, okay? Because it's not what she does for fun. Because she, oh, she loves doing this. I'm gonna message some girls' husbands, and I'm gonna show you their responses. What, but why? <laughs> but why though? Wait, is there has to be a reason. There is. To all you women who thought it was such a good idea to comment on my video nasty things, this goes out to you. I am gonna find your husbands today. <laughs> oh man. It's a confusing one today. So this is Roxy and her version of revenge on girls who leave hate comments on her videos is to take their man. To prove them wrong by stealing their man. Prove them wrong. What are they doing? Are they are they telling her that she can't steal their man? Well, it's, it's complicated. I'll I'll explain. But yeah, basically, you tell her something she doesn't like, she'll take your man. So the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm safe. <laughs> okay, since you guys have me all figured out, yes, I'm obviously the biggest homewrecker you have ever met. Roxy is beautiful, isn't she? You better say yes, by the way. Otherwise, your man's gone. <laughs> no, no, but she is. She is beautiful. So the real question is, what are people commenting that she doesn't like? Is it about her looks and she's trying to prove them wrong by stealing their man? I guess that would make sense, although leaving the comment doesn't make sense. What if somebody's saying something else? What if someone comments something like, who hurt you so badly? Oh, watch out. Class goes a lot further than looks, honey. How are we gonna prove this one wrong? By stealing her man. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's let me let me let me let's get into it. Okay. Let Roxy introduce herself. Fake hair, fake nails, fake boobs, and y'all want a real man. Okay. Oh no, Roxy. I meant like introduce yourself. <laughs> That's not leaving a good impression. How your husbands will have me. My name is Mom. Hey 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 hey, what's up? I'm a sucker for a ride. Okay, let's take you to where it all started. So, Darren's wife, let's call her Emily. Emily left a pretty mean comment on Roxy's TikTok, and that was the first mistake she made. She said something about how Roxy looks, which obviously has zero truth in it, so, well, it's obviously a, a dumb comment. But Roxy took it to heart and decided to prove Emily that she looks better than her by stealing her husband, Darren. I'm just gonna explain what happened. He responded uh, and was very intrigued right off the bat. He asked for me to exchange photos. I told him to go first and then I would send and follow the equivalent. And he ended up sending me pictures of him shirtless and then also with no bottoms. I did not reciprocate. I said, ew, I can't wait to show your bu bully wife that you're bullying her. I can't wait to show your bully wife that you're bullying her. Hold the opinions though, because the story's not done. Darren's wife gives her a call. I'm not really sure how I should approach this conversation yet. But I'm feeling violence today. So, yeah, Miss Ma'am calls. She's calling a no caller ID. She doesn't want me to know her number. It's the way that ringtone literally gives me anxiety. <laughs> that sound gives me anxiety. Hello? <clears throat> Don't you dare hobo me after what you did to me and my husband. What am I supposed to say when I. You stay far away from us both, or I will push charges. Oh, so that means that you're still with him? Of course I'm still with him. We've been married for 15 years. You think I'm gonna let some blonde, pretty little home record ruin my marriage? Well, I don't think so. First off, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a redhead. I only have a little bit of blonde, but... You're a fake redhead, just like everything. <laughs> I don't know, this call's giving sus. It's not giving authentic to me. <laughs> but that's besides the point, okay? Let's assume this is real. This is all true. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Rebel, the problem here isn't the girl who tried to steal the man, it's the man who decided it was okay to cheat on his wife. And that's true. At the end of the day, the villain is always gonna be the guy or girl who is in a relationship and decides to cheat, right? If you're in a relationship, you're in a relationship. If you don't like it, you end it, right? But you're in a commitment when you're in a relationship. But still, 
People are going about this in a very weird way that I personally maybe don't really understand. I don't know how you feel about it. You're awesome. I'm a new fan. OMG, pass the popcorn around. Real women are loving what you're doing. Miss Roxy, I just want to be your friends. You're a goddamn legend. Oh, my favorite supervillain. You have a mission here. I think it's time women realize their partners are not perfect. You're here and you're proving that. Girl out here doing God's work. How can anyone not see that you are helping them? You are great! Helping them. Damn. I just think the whole situation is sad, you know? It's sad that someone thinks it's okay to leave a hate comment. And it's sad for someone to think it's okay to barge into a relationship and attempt to steal someone's man. And it's, it's pretty sad that people are celebrating you. But it's okay because you're sorry. I just want to apologize and say sorry to everybody. <laughs> I can't believe you all have such bitch-ass husbands and I'm doing God's work over here. Oh, damn it. It got to her head. People celebrated her so much. Now she is convinced she is helping women around the world by trying to steal their man. So the logic goes, if it works and the husband reciprocates her energy, then he is an unfaithful, unloyal man who is undeserving of you. That makes sense. Yeah, but she has a slightly different logic. Don't get me wrong. I don't want your man, especially if he is so easily strayed, but this is partially your fault. Oh, okay, so now it's her fault too. First, we were saying it's not your fault, right? Because like, you're only intervening in a relationship. It's on him or her who decides to cheat, right? They're the one in the commitment. Why is it her fault too, that her husband has cheated on her? A man would never be looking outwards if he was getting what he needed inwards. So all the nights that you say, I'm tired, I have a headache, I don't want to tonight. These are all steps leading him out the front fucking door. If you are not fully committed in being in a relationship and doing the things required of you in a relationship, then he's gonna leave you. Yes, I understand. Children may be involved. Drama may have come into your life. Hardship may have come into your life. But honey, you still got two knees and a heartbeat. So if your man isn't giving you the things that you need, maybe take a step back to realize you also haven't given him the things that he needs in order for him to reciprocate that. I can't fucking help you, okay? Well, I can, but <laughs> I'm not gonna. Oh man, That's, that wasn't... That was not it. That's the hero that's helping women by discovering that their men are unloyal. It's a little funky, you know? The whole situation just smells funny, right? It's just so weird and nasty on, on nobody's side. <laughs> it's just, it's such a mess. But Roxy has been busy stealing people's men. I am gonna find your husbands today. We found another one. Sour X sweetness. Oh no, I wonder what she said. This is her comment. If I think if someone said this to my man in front of me, I'd be going to jail. And why does that make her steal your husband worthy? Like, what has she said to you? <laughs> Literally nothing, you just, you just wanna be a menace for no reason. What has she said to you that makes you think, okay, I'm gonna take her husband because she's not doing enough to keep him. boyfriend is also linked we're gonna send him a little message hey how's it going don't worry i'll let you know what he says hey stuxy what about telling a single man that they're handsome i don't know instead of being a homewrecker let's see if she's got one well she's what did she say though what did she say about you that you're trying to prove wrong she just said hey you can just tell a single man that he's handsome <laughs> I don't get the logic. Why are we so pressed about that comment? Is that the hate comments that we're talking about? Like, I get, like, it's subjective, right? Like, what hurts your feelings is subjective. How the hell, how does this hurt anybody's feelings? You know? Now it's, now it's just excuses. Oh, her TikTok says she's married. Give her two days. Married, she'll remove it from her TikTok description. Let's give up a message. I bet you one of the four, if I showed all four, will respond. And I'm gonna show you everything. Honestly, you're ruthless, and I kinda love it. People shouldn't leave mean comments, 
well, you know what? People should just not talk at all anymore. How about that? Because if those are mean comments, like, yeah, the married men who are responding, trash. Trash. I've got an update on the DMs for you. Two of the remaining three responded. They were actually pretty nice to me. The second one said, hey, there's an account using your pics. I was confused and said, what? Then he proceeds to send me a picture of space and says, because you're out of this world. The next one says, I'm not gonna tell you the first part of the conversation <laughs> because his wife found my TikTok. But later that evening, I got another message from him saying, honestly, your looks got my attention. But after I regained focus, holy f you are hilarious too. I think this might be going somewhere. First of all, calm down. Calm down, ladies. If your man was your man, he wouldn't respond and you wouldn't be worried. I wouldn't be worried about her. No. Well, she thinks you should be. Ladies, if you're commenting on my posts right now saying, you can't have my man, you're not as pretty as me. Okay, well I got friends. And, I, and we cover all flavors. We've got the bimbo blonde. We've got the brilliant brunette. And if the psychopathic, home-wrecking, crazy, redhead Roxy doesn't do it for him, I'll find someone who does, baby. Just to prove it. It's gotten to a point with Roxy where people have started commenting mean things on purpose and sending her, literally begging her, to test their husbands or partners. The amount of women in my Insta DMs right now is astronomical. And I actually find it quite funny because half of them are commenting mean stuff on my profile to make it look like they'd never do this. And then they're reaching out in my DMs, sending me their hubby's ads, asking me to test their loyalty. That was what happened with this one girl. It's pretty sad. So this time was a little bit different. I actually feel bad for this girl. Um, she reached out to me asking for help. And so I did some charity work. <laughs> I helped get rid of some trash. Yeah. Damn. Well, you know what? I feel like if you thought you needed to ask in the first place, trust wasn't there. The relationship was dying. Miss Shandy reached out to me and asked for me to test her hubby's love and loyalty. And let's just say he failed. He failed hard. Yeah, real hard. That sucks. Um... It does sound like a pretty good business, though, I must <laughs> Nah, I'm kidding. Look, at least the, the positive side here is she actually helped someone out. But what do you think she should do, Roxy? You think she should try a little harder in her relationship? What advice would you give her? But this is partially your fault. Because her man was interested in you, right? So what do you think she should do? Maybe apply some of the advice you were giving in that one thing you said first? A man would never be looking outwards if he was getting what he needed inwards. I'm confused. I don't know if she's doing this out of spite. People out here, you know, calling her a hero, making it seem as though she is saving them. But I feel like it's more, more like it's out of spite. It's more like, oh, because I can, I will. Rather than, oh, you know, I kind of care for you, so I'm gonna do this for you. No, and it is a damaging thing to do, right? So that's why it feels like doing it because you can. You know, it's maybe something to think about, right? She doesn't like when people sort of react to it. I mean, technically we're doing a commentary, but... There's people getting famous off duetting my videos right now. Like, just giving reactions. I'm not just giving up. I don't, she technically is not talking about me, okay? Because we're technically weighing in our opinion. I'm not the villain. Maybe I am the villain. Am I the villain? I don't think I'm the villain. Maybe I'm the villain. But these thoughts that we're sharing, a lot of people might have already had. So she did address some of them in a little video response she made. Home wrecking Powerpuff Girl Roxy here. Yeah. Video response is coming tomorrow. <laughs> there is so many. I can't wait to destroy you. This is her announcing the video. So what are the thoughts? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Nobody f***ing hurt me, man. This is like Deadpool, the super villain you didn't even know you f***ing needed. Karma's coming for me next? How exciting. There's a lot of people that come for me, actually. I am personally really good at coming for myself. It is quite the talent. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> You're just the right amount of psycho. I freaking love it. Are you sure? It's not the match? Huh? I, I don't know, she's giving Jim Carrey, 
right? What are the comments saying? I'm married and I'm here for this energy. You get what you give. Home wrecking? She isn't even the one who's married. Uh, no, but that's no, that's literally what home wrecking is. Home wrecking is being the reason behind a urban dictionary there. A person that has an affair with somebody's husband or wife. That's just, that's what it's she's not really a home wrecker because it's not like she's actually having the affairs, but she is like insinuating it, you know? She's trying to lead it there. So that's where that came from. So. What do you mean she's not the one who's married? That's literally part of the definition. But you got the idea, all right? That's Roxy. She keeps doing it. She caught another husband. I got another husband. And another. You have all been fairly warned. And another. I found another bully's man to message. Let's just read the comment, why don't we? From Miss Smaples. I hope you understand how disgusting you look. Your face, trash bag. Okay, Miss Smaples. But some of them kind of look like accounts to literally just quickly made. Of course your picture is of an anime character. <gasps> How would you look at that? Like zero followers, zero, zero. It's a little weird. Let's give it a little tap. Follow. Like the girlfriend and the boyfriend? Okay then. Ooh. Really makes you wonder, are there really no good men in this world? Like, are, is there nobody who's loyal out there? Ashley says, I'm sure there are several men she's reached out to who are shooting her down. She's just not gonna post these. Really, Ashley? Really? We are about to expose the next boy who has failed my test. And when someone doesn't fail, I will show you. Don't worry. Uh, except we didn't see that one yet. She hasn't posted a single person who hasn't failed the test. She said she was going to show you, but we didn't. We, we see nothing. All of these people, everyone in a relationship, not a single person said no. What's happening? What's happening to the world? Yeah. No, she's not going to show you, Ashley. But homewrecker, the definition, also mentions that the person that has an affair with someone's husband or wife has enjoyment ruining happy families. Kind of sounds like the Grinch for Christmas, right? And she's been called that more than once. Da, 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 da Grinch. But it's not how she looks. She's beautiful, okay? It has nothing to do with that. Maybe it's the way she acts. Morning, fuckers. <laughs> So, I've been getting so many comments saying I look like the Grinch and I act like Jim Carrey. <laughs> I don't see it! Do you? <laughs> it seems like it, right? Is that it? Is that it? No one's saying! And someone said, I totally see it, but I don't want to come across as an insult because I think you're really pretty. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my, what did you f***ing say to me? You are all so pressed, and I think it's hilarious. I have so many women stitching my videos right now, telling me that I'm this homewrecker and blah, blah, blah. Do you know how many husbands are reaching out to me without me contacting them first? I can't wait till it's yours. So that I can show you and tell you to sit down and shut the fuck. Shut the fuck up about what? Calling you a home wrecker? But that's you proving their point. <laughs> that's you proving their point. Oh my god. So at this point, I'm gonna wrap it up. Now let's conclude and think about what we just saw. Do you think Roxy is doing this to support women and protect them from their evil, disgusting, undeserving, unfaithful, unloyal husbands? Because she loves and cares for women around the world. Or is she just doing it out of spite? Maybe it's more like, girl, you think you're pretty? I'm prettier than you, and I'm gonna f prove it to you. We saw the comments, some of them were mean, and she took her vengeance on them. And then some of them were just normal comments, but she took her vengeance on them anyway. So then it's like, hmm, what are we doing here? Are we just doing it because we know we're pretty, and we feel very powerful when we take other people's partners? girls or boys is that what it is no she's so selfless and altruistic of course well they're they're not giving enough in their relationships are they but this is partially your fault there's a crack in that relationship a man would never be looking outwards if he was getting what he needed inwards it doesn't sound like a villain hero to me you know that was me after seeing it and thinking oh she, she's doing the she's doing good things right she's exposing a trash, unloyal partner. I still felt like there was something bad about it. Like, I just felt wrong. Maybe this is why. Maybe because I feel like it's definitely not out of, like, desire 
or intent to help. Even if the intent was vengeance, it's being taken against the, well, kind of the wrong people at some point. I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know. What are your opinions on this? I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of different ones here because a lot of people love Roxanne. Roxy, she, she said it herself. You can either love her to death or not. I'm in the middle here, actually. Maybe I'm one of the rare ones. I don't have any kind of strong feelings in any direction <laughs> for Roxy. I'm just saddened by it all. <laughs> I sound like a beauty pageant contestant. World peace, y'all. No, but like, I want to hear your thoughts. I'm sure we're going to have a lot of different opinions here. We all agree that, you know, at the end of the day, the person who accepts to cheat while in a committed relationship is at fault. That's something we all agree on. What we might not agree on is who else is at fault, right? Personally, I would never think about pursuing someone who I know is in a committed relationship. I would just make the effort to move on or forget if I had feelings for that person. So when people completely do not put the blame on someone pursuing someone in a committed relationship, I don't know, I feel a little weird about that because I wouldn't want someone trying to like take someone I'm, I'm with. Even if I trust my partner a thousand percent, it's still kind of irritating, right? I don't know, maybe it's just me. What are your thoughts? Share them down below, let's hear them. But yeah, that was pretty much it, guys. I'ma go now because I need to pack my bag. What? Yes, this one. This big one, right here. That one, I need to pack it because I am leaving in 12 hours. 12 hours? You have a lot of time? No, because I'm gonna sleep too. Okay, you know, I have been running on two hours of sleep for the past two days. I was in Madrid doing some stuff and I was like in an Airbnb and I didn't want to sleep in that Airbnb. I don't know what it is about me. I can't sleep in beds that aren't mine or sheets that I hadn't washed myself. Okay, Ooh. call me a germaphobe. It's just how I feel sometimes. So we just decided let's just stay up outside. Let's just hang out outside until the sun rises. And that's what we did. So I slept for two hours for two days. Got my sleep in last night though. Otherwise, I would not be the way I am right now. <laughs> I, can, can, I can tell you that for sure. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that was pretty much it. I'm gonna go now. Bye. Bye. Don't say anything mean about Roxanne, by the way. Do not say anything mean to Roxy. Come on, bestie. It's not like you. We're having civil conversation. Unless you want her to steal your man, that's something else. <laughs> Unless you're trying to get him to sign these divorce papers and he's just not willing to. Unless you're just trying to break up with this dude and he just won't let you go. Then let Roxy do her thing. But that was me, you guys. I'm gonna go now. Bye.